meeting to order at 7.08. And um, Mrs. Ressler is here, Mrs. Gleason is here, and Mrs. Morrison is here, and Mrs. Jones is absent. We don't have any comments from the public. There's no old business. So we'll move on to June bills. Any questions on the June bills? I do not. I'm good. Me neither. All right, let me just scroll through this here. Okay, uh, any questions on June impressed or deposits? Yeah. Uh, CDS bills? No. Nope. No. Nope. Fall athletic supplies and equipment. Okay, so we had our fall athletic bid on May 4th at 9 a.m. Um, pretty standard here with all of our vendors. Um, we have been utilizing the Byboard um, Cooperative, Purchasing Cooperative, so you might see a couple new ones here and there, um, like Concourse, that one's new. Um, this has just really been helping us get all of our bids out really fast, really efficient. Um, and then, you know, we kind of reach more people that way. What's it called? By board? It's called by board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a purchasing cooperative. So, um, but these are all pretty standard for our fall, our fall bid. So. Okay. Any problems with the fall bids? I'm good. No. 2018-19 uh, property casualty insurance renewal. Okay, so um, as you see in the memo here, we had originally been quoted at a 10% increase for our property and casualty insurance through our, our current carrier, which is Wright Specialty. Um, Alliance, Mesero, uh, they were able to negotiate it down to a 5% increase, which um, actually is, I got a phone call um, a couple hours ago that they actually got it down to 4%, which oh, wow. is really good. So, yes. um, you know, some some of the markets are just declining to to quote us at all, really. Um, either they can't meet the pricing that the that right specialty is able to give us or um, you know they just basically aren't, aren't offering it sometimes they don't um, not all carriers want to mm -hmm. uh, work with school districts so right. um, so yeah so this is our our premium for fiscal year 2019 looking at 474,000 um, which yeah like I said very very favorable compared to what we were looking at originally, which was 10%. Wow. Well, can't argue That's with good. that. Can't argue with that at all. No, definitely not. Same good news with health and dental? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we do see a decrease in our HMO. Oh, wow. Yeah, HMO is going down 1.4%, uh, which is uh, pretty significant to the district. We had two really high years um, for our insurance and it, it's great to see it going down. Uh, we do see the increase with PPO and dental, but um, I confirmed with our, uh, with Alliant Mesero and she said these are, are really below market trend considering what's going on right now. So very favorable renewals. Um, like I said, the decrease in the HMO is huge. We were originally looking at an increase. Um, so it's, it's good to see that. I do also have here, if you are looking for a little light summer reading, <laughs> if you would like to see it, here's a bunch of information that you can look at. Um, kind of gives you a, a better breakdown, but it can get a little bit confusing when you're looking at yeah. all, the, all the different rates. And um, so that's there if you'd like to see it, but this kind of just Isn't gives you- the HMO, for some reason I have in my head that we were trying to push people out of the HMO. Right. Because it was more expensive. Of how it is, much, I mean, even though it's right. going down, it is typically more expensive. Than it the is. PPO. Yes. Okay. That's, um, that's really all. I do. Yeah. No. It 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 is. Um, that's why, at least now, we're seeing the decrease in the plan, which I think is, like I said, that's that's very favorable. Um, we don't have that many people in our HMO, though. So mm -hmm. I think right now we've got maybe. 90 employees everyone else is on the ppo but um with the ppo plan you know it's more favorable to a lot of people because you don't have to go somewhere that's in your right. network you can essentially go wherever right. you want mm -hmm. um but if you don't see many specialists or anything like that um then yeah it'd be more favorable for you to do the hmo 
But this 4% increase and 3% increase for dental, you're saying is pretty, those are good right. rates compared to some right. They've been talking double digits. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, these are definitely well below the market trend. So good to see that. Um, I don't know if you guys even remember a couple of years ago, we did have uh, like two really bad insurance years, just completely unpredicted, wasn't budgeted for. Um, you know, we obviously can't say for sure what's going to happen, but um, it's good to see these kinds of smaller increases and especially the decrease in the HMO because for a while there it was increasing pretty rapidly. Extermination contract renewal. Uh, so we have negotiated a one-year extension with Smithereen Pest Management. Um, there will be no rate change for fiscal year 2019, which um, is, is pretty good. Mm -hmm. So they've been with us for a while now, at least the last five years. Um, so, you know, we're pretty comfortable with them and obviously no rate change is a mm -hmm. can't argue with that. pretty... <laughs> for, just so I understand, when their contracts end like this, I, we renewed it, but we don't have to do any bid requirements when... Correct, uh, especially with this one. So this one we pay, um, most of them are less than $100 a month. So oh, okay. yeah, so we don't have well, to bid well, okay. that one out. Now we could do um, like a request for a proposal for it, just if we wanted to see what else was out there. But we know we like Smithereen and it's really good rate for you know all four schools. So. Okay. And then kind of same thing here with our disposal contract renewal. Um, last year we saw a 4.5% increase in our rate just because it hadn't been increased in a while, so we were we were due for it. Um, this year, talking to our rep, um, he brought up some interest in a three-year extension to the contract with no rate change for this year or next year, and then we wouldn't see a rate increase until fiscal year 2021, and it would be either CPI or no more than 2.5%. So, you know, the last two years, CPI has been 2.1. So with that would be, you know, if this had happened this year, that would have been our rate. So no more than 2.5%. Um, and like I said, last year we had a 4.5% increase. So this is definitely favorable to the district. The, the one thing I've, I've heard is from other people who use Homewood, mm -hmm. make sure the contract doesn't have um, like an automatic renewal. It sounds okay. like it doesn't because right. of what you put up there, but right. I know other places they think they can get out and right. they can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, we, um, if the board approves, we'll do three year and then as soon as that three years up, we'll okay. definitely okay. All right. uh, reassess the issue. And the moment you've all been waiting for, <laughs> the Tinley Park gym floor repair bin. Uh, Manico Flooring was the only bid that was received, which came in at $125,000. ARC has verified um, all of the bid documents, compliance with drawings, specification, all of the addendums. Um, Manico Flooring actually did the Hillcrest floor last year. Um, the invo that project was successfully completed. Uh, like I said, this was the only bid that was received. So we are, and it, it came in. Um, right about expected, so um, we are going to recommend this one. Why for, would that be though, that that's the only bid that we receive? It's late in the season for bidding mm -hmm. right now. Um, They're filled up. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so last year, or you know, just in general, um, we would have normally bid this out a couple months prior, but because we were still going back and forth and mm -hmm. we had the expert out, we didn't really have enough time to get it out early, early enough, so. Mm -hmm. That's kind of why you see this one, but um, we've gotten, uh, like I said, they did the Hillcrest floor, so we know that they're a solid company, and um, so yeah. And this is the one we're doing it, and then we're fighting about who's paying, who's going to reimburse us, or right? No? The attorneys are completely okay. handling okay. all of that, so um, so yeah. So we're going to do the Tinley Park Manico flooring, one hundred twenty-five thousand, recommending that for approval. Okay. The next, no Hillcrest had a kiln. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the next one was the Hillcrest, Hillcrest kiln and spray booth relocation bin. This one only had one bid as well, which was Amber Mechanical Contractors. Total price came in at 145900 Now, this 
actually came in over 60% of what we originally had estimated. So we are going to reject the, or we're going to recommend that the board reject this bid. I was ready to say, can we like bid it out at a different time? Well, so I think what we're going to do now is instead of just doing it as one bid, we're going to use a, a couple of different contractors to kind of just piece it all together as opposed to doing it all at once. So um, that's kind of... What is a kiln spray booth? <laughs> I had the same question. So the kiln is the the pottery. The oven that cooks. Yeah, it does the pottery, pottery. for your... Yeah, so... Oh. But the spray booth, this was the other thing I had to ask Terry, I was confused. It's essentially like a fume hood. So if you're spray painting something, the uh, fumes go outside as opposed to in the room. going in the room and, and it just makes it safer. So Okay. That seems like a lot of money. For I'm, I'm sure the kiln isn't cheap, but... Right. Yeah. No, it's... Um, well, and th like I said, this, this project, we kind of had an idea of what it was going to be and then it came in super high. So it's kind of... Yeah, so we're going to recommend that the board reject this one. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Last one, Prevailing Wage Act. This is something that the board um, votes on every required. year, the resolution. Uh, required by the state of Illinois. Uh, the last one, uh, I included a, a copy of it with you. So the most recent one we have is from September 1st of 2017. Um, they're just been a little bit late getting it out. So uh, this is just a resolution that the board has to vote on basically that says um, we will honor these these wage rates for all of our all of our employees that are doing contracts with the with the district. And then there's a copy of the resolution and then the prevailing wage rates from the Illinois Department of Labor. Any questions on that? I'll be using that? a lot of that with the construction. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Any discussion? Do you have any discussions? I, I don't think so. If you guys don't have any questions. Okay. Next meeting is scheduled for July 9th, 2018, 7 p.m. at the Ad Center. I'm not sure I can be at that, so <laughs> I'm not sure what you and Leslie are here. Mm-hmm. Will do. And with that, we will adjourn at 721.